Hi, I'm Jenny from Sincerely Jen Patterns. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make Phoebe's Mom's Candy Dish Skull Pouch. So if you're curious about the names of my patterns, if you watch the show Friends, you'll see where it all comes from. Um, so this pouch is uses reverse applique for the face of the skull. Um, so I cut all of my pattern pieces out, I traced them onto the wrong side of my vinyl, and I cut everything with scissors. Um, if you have a cutting machine, like a Cricut or a Silhouette, a Brother Scan and Cut, there may be others that I don't know about, um, I do include SVG files. So you can use those files to cut these on your cutting machines and make the, make the whole process that much easier. So I traced everything onto the wrong side of my vial, vinyl, cut it out, um, with scissors and then we're just going to get started. So this piece here is the contrast panel. This is to place behind the eye and nose um, pieces so that you get the reverse applique look. So I am going to take a glue stick. All right you can use double-sided tape for this or you could just place this on and place a couple clips to hold it in place. I'm going to use a little bit of Elmer's glue, um, and this is just regular school glue. It dries clear, and it should hopefully hold my vinyl in place long enough to get it sewn. So I'm just going to place it here around the eyes and nose openings on the back side of the front panel, and then I'm just going to place the contrast panel over it and make sure that it's covering all of the openings um, just for a little extra something I'm gonna place a couple clips on here just to hold it in place all right so now we're going to carefully top stitch around each of the eye and the nose shapes I'm going to use an eighth of an inch seam allowance and I'm just going to do this um, super carefully and slowly. So let's see, I want to start on like the straightest part of each shape, should be the easiest. We're not going to backstitch, um, instead we're going to leave the tails of the threads hanging and then we'll pull them to the back after we're done and we will tie knots. So this part might take a little bit and I'm going to hand crank so I think this part would maybe be easier using a domestic machine um, I feel like mine will get a, a little bit away from me if I try to actually just sew this so I'm going to like literally hand crank around each of the shapes Okay, when you get back to where you started, you want to put your needle down directly inside the hole of the very first stitch. Complete that stitch, do not back stitch. And now I'm just going to leave the tails there. We're going to flip it over and pull the bobbin um, threads that are hanging and you'll get these little loops. I'm gonna use something else. I'll use my stiletto. The stiletto is from Mary Beth Made It. Um, but you get little loops of the fat or of the thread from the top stitch. So I'm just going to pull the loops to pull all of the tails from my threads to the back. 
So from the front, my stitches are still completed. On the back, we have all of these threads. I'm just going to grab the threads and I'm going to tie them together. So on each side, I have one bobbin thread and one top thread. And I'm just going to tie a square knot as tight as possible. And I'm going to trim my tails now. And this will all be on the inside of your finished project, so nobody will see this. Um, and then I have here just Gorilla Super Glue. I'm not going to do this right now. Um, but after I'm finished, I will just place a dot of that super glue on each of the knots to hold it. Um, you can also use various different glues that are meant for sewing. Um, but just to give it an extra hold. Um, and I think I've seen people melt them before with a lighter, but, and then kind of like press it down to the vinyl. So I'm just going to finish top stitching all of my openings here. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside to dry for a minute. While that's drying, we will take the um, back panel pattern piece and line it up with the back panel fabric. All right, once we have the back panel pattern piece lined up with the back panel vinyl, we're going to mark the snap placement. We'll go ahead and take our leather hole punch and punch that hole for the snap placement. And the vinyl that I'm using for the back is a um, holographic vinyl, so I don't think it probably shows up that great right now. But when you put a flash on it, um, it's like super bright. It's very cool. So. All right, my glue's not dry yet, so let's just give that one minute. Okay, I'm going to trim off the tails of thread now that my glue is dry, just so that we don't have that extra, extra little thread pieces left in the wallet. Or the pouch, I guess I should call it. Okay, now we will place the front panel and back panel wrong sides together and match up all the edges. Okay, and we're going to place clips all the way around the sides. Okay, so we're going to flip up the bottom flap and use a pen to mark the placement of that snap. I'm going to just take off a couple of the clips and then I'll use my hole punch again to punch that hole. Okay, what color snaps do I want to use for this? I think I'll use, I think I'll just use gray. We'll go 
ahead and use this color. I have a silver. So I just need two cat parts and then a male side and a female side. Okay, so we're just going to put the cap side on the wrong side of the front panel and then take either the male or female side and place it on the right side. Use your pliers to secure the snap in place. Okay, I'm just going to put these clips back on, hold it together. Now I'm going to top stitch all the way around the pouch, the entire exterior, including the um, flat portion. So just pick your starting point and back stitch a stitch or two to secure it. And try to keep your stitches in the same hole so that it's neat looking. And I'm just using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And my stitch length is at 4.75 millimeters. And just take it nice and slow to keep your stitches even. back to where you started. You'll again just back stitch a couple stitches to secure. Um, so we're just going to install the snap here in the other opening. Flip your flap up and snap the snap in place and that is like the cutest thing ever. This is like my favorite for sure. Um, if you want it to be a keychain just install an eyelet here and then install a key ring through the eyelet. And that is your completed Phoebe's Mom's Candy Dish Skull Pouch.